hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is skytech digital now in this um, video we are going to you know add up to what we did last time by creating a church website now um if you haven't watched this video i'll entreat you to watch it because we, it's this video is just an addition to um this website so um the our last video we did a church website a simple church website where um you know we have these um how do you call it um this page is created you know we have the about messages foundation um contact give and then also what radio um to it now um this video is purposely for those of you who really want a church website whereby um, you know there will be an information center whereby people log in to the website and then you know get uh, more info about the church you know what is going on the sermons you know everything okay so it is just an addition to it so um if you are interested in it um we are going to create a login page one and then we are going to add um you know a software to this website where all our um, info and other things we want to go over there so um you know sermons um our next step when somebody log in what the person is supposed to do all the information things you know everything that you want to add up to what your website we're going to create it using this software okay or this plugin so um without wasting my time let's get into the video and start creating what we want to create <laughs> okay guys so to um to start we have to go to our back end so this is the you know the admin um you know back end over here our wordpress back end and then um we are going to install you know a plugin so make sure that you hover on um you go straight to what plugins over here and then under plugins you go to what add new okay or when you are in the plugins um, page you can click on add new over here so make sure you click on add new and then we are going to what install um firstly a, a plugin first okay so we're going to install um this plugin called church center okay so just look for church center over here okay and this is the plugin that we are going to install it is what um church wp church center by um jod sign or jod sign wp church team okay make sure that you have this one um, installed so click on install now okay and then after you click on install now just click on what activate to activate the plugin okay so now that the plugin is installed and activated you realize that you see um, this church center over here okay now you you are going to what have this you know settings over here okay so what we are going to do is um we just need to um you know add some cards to it now before i even show you um everything um let me let's go to the you know the 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 church center and then let's view the details of the what of the church center if you want to read more about it you can what read what it does okay so um purposely the church center enables church churches to set up a central hub of next steps for their members so unlimited cards to inform your members and make it easy for them to uh, get involved sign up or find out more so um you can use it to what uh, to do anything so if you look at the demo over here this is how the demo look like okay so as you can see this is how the demo look like okay so with the demo you can have what um you know your logo over here you have your social you know um, um handles over here you have your what your tight icon to over here you can even have your home um you know icon over here okay and then you have all these cards beautiful cards over here displayed over here now as it is you can what have what your um, you know tight over here you can have your um you know this card links to what external website if you want to link it to external website you can have what um you know planning center or online giving um i'm new if somebody is new what the person is supposed to do a video if you want to embed you know a video in it 
if you also want to maybe people want to what join the baptism or get baptized okay and then coming event bible reading plan and then what this week's what worship okay so basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, you know use it for sermons and then you know other videos okay but you can use it for anything that you want to do okay but i don't want to drag this video to be very long and then you see how this whole thing goes okay so um let's go back over here so this is how the demo looks like so if you click on let's say um you know um let me say maybe worship or whatever it is um I'm, i want to show you how it really looks like how it's going to be like so this is how it's going to be like okay so you see this one have what um you know they've embedded spotify in it which um they said the page cannot be found but basically this is how it's going to be like okay so let me close this one and then we go back to our web, web website and then we i show you how all these things work okay so to start with okay to start with let's go to um church center over here and then under church center we have what uh, setting center setting okay so or you can even click on your your church center but let's go to center setting okay and then see how we can what we can set it up okay we, we want to set it up so let's see how we, we are going to set it up for us to be able to, uh, to use it well okay guys so at the moment you open your um the church center settings it's going to open you know um um customizer settings for you but then under the customizer settings we have this church center settings over here now forget about all these things don't worry about it it will go when we finish um setting it up so um firstly let's set up the header okay so our header what do you want so um we want our logo to what we want our logo to be there and then um, if you have a custom link for the logo you can put it over there if not um, the logo will pick the home URL and then a um, favicon icon to you can what create a favicon icon for it the favicon icon is just a small icon which comes um, over here on top of the browser okay and then um, menu options where do you want your menu options to what uh, the icons to go so you can what choose and um, how you want it to be like is it um, you know you do want it in a circle form or whatever it is you can what, choose how you want it to be like okay so um let's get it set up so first let's choose our logo so we click to what uh, to set up our logo or to choose our logo so um what i'm going to choose is what um, i'm going to choose this white logo over here okay i'm going to choose this white logo over here and then um with the logo link i'm not going to set any logo link I'm going to set a favicon for it so make sure that your favicon is what 32 by 32 pixels so i'm going to choose this one over here so i'm going to choose it and then the reason why this is um, not coming because we haven't set the link for the words for the page okay so don't worry we set up the link and then you see how it goes now for now let's leave this one as it is okay we'll come back over here and then what and then you know set it up now let's click on publish to, uh, to publish it now let's go back over here and let's go to the footer over here so this is how the footer will be so you can leave a copyright what um for it or it will be what blank so let's say i want it to be what um church web ghana put god first okay that's what my footer is going to be and then i want the um footer um color to be what to be white okay and then i want this color to also um pick um our you know kind of like um this color yeah our color that we are using for the words for the website okay the footer and then the header so with this one i can even copy it later on but let's go and then um the design options now before that let's go to church links over here okay so the church website link or links to your website and social word profile so church website link so what is your, your church website now this is your church um, website what link okay so make sure that you what you put it over here okay and this one is what um you know your church website title okay so what is the title the title is what church um web ghana okay 
and then your social you know handles you can what put it over here so i'm going to put a pound sign okay for all the social what handles okay so i'm going to put youtube to over there and then your what your online um, giving url so as you can see we have what a give url over here so i'm going to copy the link over here and then come here and then put it to what and put it here okay i'm going to put it here and then um you know online church streaming so if you have any streaming you know platform maybe a youtube channel or whatever it is you can what you can put it over here okay so let's say i want to what i want to put uh, maybe my youtube channel over here so that people will click on it and go to what the youtube channel okay so basically that is now with the login details over here i'm going to leave it as it is okay because we'll come back to it later on so let's say i want to put a pound sign over here okay and then i'll click on what publish over here now let's go over here and go to what settings over here okay so what do you want your what your um you know your um website to say okay so that is what the permalink so i wanted to say what info center okay wanted to say info center that is what information what center okay and then custom link for what back button so if you want any custom link for back back button you can what you can you know put it over there okay so what link do you want it to go so i want it to go back to what the info center over there so i'm going to um just copy this one okay and then paste it over here and then add info center to it now remember that this info center okay when somebody clicks when somebody searches this one or when somebody set clicks on this one it's going to be what info center okay it means that that is where our all cards will be so let me just publish it now and then um let me go back over here and then you know go back to my dashboard okay i want to show you something before all this one will work i have to what, go back to my dashboard and then come to settings over here okay and then go to permalinks okay now what i want to do is just you know change it from here and then come back over here again and then i'll click on what save changes making sure that my permalinks is what is saved okay now if i come over here and i copy this link and i come over here and i paste this link in the new center and then i click over here it's going to open my church um, you know center for me so this is how the center looks like so as you can see now our permalinks everything is what is working and this is how um, you know everything looks like so this is um, you know our login page this is um, the live stream this is what online giving this is our youtube channel all our other and this is what our home um, you know button whereby when somebody clicks on it it will take the person straight to what the home page of the what of the website okay so that is basically that is it now let's now that we have everything said now make sure that you do not take anything over here okay just keep it as it is because at the moment you you play with this place over here what is going to happen is what um some of your default um you know styles will what will change and when some of your de default styles change um, the website will be what you'll be messy okay so make sure that you don't play around it okay so as you can see this is our footer over here okay now over here this space is going to contain all our cards over there okay so we will go back to where we were the settings over here now go back over here now forget about search engine so if you go to search engine this will be used in the browser tab and when shared on social so you can just use your what your church web what um center for it okay so that's okay don't worry about it so um the description so what description do you want to you just put in any description you want and then you know the image that you want it to show on social media and other stuff whenever you share you can put that image over here but i'm not going to what focus on that thing so all what i'm going to do is i'm going to come now first of all i want to refresh the website so that everything that we have done will take what will take effect okay so let me just refresh the website and then um, we see whether the 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 um the 404 page what will go away okay 
okay so still is still having uh, effect over there but do not worry too much don't worry too much um everything like i said as you can see over here it's working perfectly okay so don't you know be worried too much about it now let's go to um so we are we are um with the yeah okay so with the icon colors and all those things you can choose how you want it to be but i want it to you know um the icon color let, let me see so this is the icon color so what i want it to be is um i want it to be just like um our footer color over here so um let me go to <coughs> my so if you wanted to the team the dark and all those things you can what you can restructure it the way you want it okay images options and all those things that tint image convert image to so i want to convert image to grayscale grayscale and then i also want to what, tint the image okay now this one will give it like a black and white um, background and then uh, when you hover on it you're going to have you know that kind of like a tint image over there okay and then the background this is the background that we want if you want it to be a different background you can what, choose and then we want it to be a dark what theme okay they have the light theme over there and then the dark theme so let me go back to um you know my footer and i'm going to copy this you know this color over here because i want this color to run through it and then i'll come back to my header over here and then scroll down and then change the icon color to what to this kind of what color okay and then i'll what i'll publish it so when i come over here and i refresh this info center this one should change but it's not changing don't worry let's just purge card to see if it will change okay if it doesn't change maybe um it's not where it's supposed to be but sometimes it happens okay sometimes it happens so don't worry about it let's keep going now you can even change it if you don't want to be what circle you can make it what an outline what circle anyhow you want it you can also make it what plain okay depending on how you want it so let's say we want to make it what plain okay and then we what refresh it okay and then we want the icon colors to be let's say um white okay let's just you know change it from um, this one to uh, to white okay and then the icon background if you know you want it to be what to be white you can what you can make it the way you want it so let's just publish it and see how it behaves over here let me just purge the cache over here the cache over here and then see so as you can see this is how it is what it is behaving now okay so there is no what um, outline over there it is just a plain what links over here okay so depending on how you want it you can what you can change it the way you want it if you want it to be what um, you know um, outline you know um, anyhow you want it outline circle you can just what choose it and then come over here refresh this one it doesn't work so let's purge the cache and then see if it it works this one too never worked okay so it means that um this didn't work because i don't know why but it means that the outline and then the um, um the color really d does not really change whenever you want it to change so it depends on how so we still want to make it what plain okay sometimes these things happens you know sometimes it is style styling options but at the moment you change the styling um, at the settings over there it completes with the what with the theme and then it makes elementary style what goes away okay and that is not what we want so don't mess around with this thing that i said okay don't mess around with it okay just leave it the way it is and then you know this settings this one and this one do not mess around with it just leave it the way it is now secondly let's um you know um, now that we are done with let me see the church links over here okay so basically we are what we are done with it now with the database and the login we'll come back to it later on um let me see the design options okay we are also done with this one and then the footer we are done with it and then the header the header to um we are done with it so um basically i think everything is good now we can go back to what to the church center itself okay now from the church center over here you see that, that we have what all cards over here and then what add card
card groups and then whatever it is okay and then you know if you want support from their uh, facebook group you can get support over here okay now this one leads to your what your church center okay so as you can see we have set up our uh, info as um, dash center for it okay so this one will lead you to your, to your church center and then this one is the card groups okay it means that if you want you know um, like categories and other stuff if you want you know category or if you want to group your cards into what ca um, categories you use this one okay so for instance i want to group it under what sermon okay under sermon and then i'll add it this one to it and then i can even you know pick like let's say videos okay videos and then i'll um, group it under it and then maybe let's say um you know anything that we want maybe um information um you know center info mission information center information inform information center okay so i cannot group it under it so let's say these three things over here okay now now that i have this one set up i can go to what add what card to add a new card okay so basically what i'm going to add is what i'm going to add sermons to it and then add some videos to it okay so what i'm going to do is um let me you know come down over here and i'm going to pick some um, headings from here yeah so as you can see i have some headings over here that i want to pick so let's say 2022 um you know sunday sermon easter sunday sermon okay so i'll come over here and add this one to it and then i'll copy this one okay and then bring it over here as what as um the subtitle okay and then um how do you want the card do you want it to be plain or you want it to with external link now external links means that um is you're just going to place a link over here when somebody click on it it will take the person to what um, you know a different link but the plain means that you're going to type in your what your whatever thing that you want to type over here so um like as usual i'm going to go to what dummy um you know text and then pick some what dummy text that i want um to use okay so because um this is just you know um, a sermon that i'm going to what so i'm just going to what copy this um um, Lauren, Lauren, um, Ipson, whatever it is, dummy text over here. I'll come over here and then, you know, just paste it over here, okay? And then paste, 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 okay? So, anyhow, um, you want it, you can what? You can, you know, give some titles to it and other stuff, okay? So, after that, um, all what you need to do is what? Choose, um, you know, the group that you want to, it to fall under so i want it to fall under sermon okay so after that go down and then this one says what card presentation so if you want it to hide from what um, the card list or grades you can choose this one but card image okay so you have to what, try to upload at least thousand pixel wide okay so we're going to click over here to select our card image so um let's say we want to select this one okay so as you can see this one have what um 1920 by 1280 pixel okay so i'm going to choose this one and then um with a color okay so the color is also very important if you see this one it means that what you have to set up the color okay so this one is um let's say easter so i'm going to choose the blood of jesus okay so um as it is now you this ones are what the post settings you can leave it as default don't touch it okay and then you come over here and then you click on what publish okay very good so now that we've published it now if we go to our what, our church web center and then let's say we are going to what um you know refresh it okay very good so this is the problem that i was having okay so as you can see over here it doesn't what make it the grid that we want it even though we've chosen it as what as great but um it gives what um, a lot of what a little bit of what conflict that is styling conflict okay and that is why i didn't want to use the other because at the moment i use the other styling it changes the elemental um, you know settings but let me just you know finish with it and then we'll see how it goes okay so you just hold on okay this is how it shows all right 
but let's just refresh it again and see if it still shows the same thing we know what to do okay so don't worry we're gonna this is our card one the first card that we do now let's do about three or four cards okay and then so the next one that i'm going to do is what a video okay i just want to show you how it is done okay so i'm going to go to notes over here and then i'm going to pick um you know let's say renewal of the mind or um this one okay this one over here relationship um you know video and then i'll come over here paste the title over here and then i'll you know paste the subtitle over here and then with this one i'm going to use what um, um, um i'm going to use uh, how do you call it um oh i'm going to use um, a video okay so i'm going to in insert you know embed a video over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to embed youtube videos so i'll go to youtube okay so if like your video whatever it is okay just go to your um you know youtube channel and then pick the video that you want okay so to embed the video it is very simple let's say um okay so to embed a video it's um a little bit simple so let's say um let me go to um you know let me let me paste in this um you know this pastor's what sermons and then i'll pick the video from there okay so let's say let's say this one okay i'm just picking any video okay just any video from um, pastor steven okay so i'm just picking any video from pastor steven and then um, we move from there so i'm going to um, you know let this ad run let it finish so i'm going to skip it and then um, i'm going to pause it over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on the video okay just um, you know right click on it and then this options will what will open for you okay so it says what copy embed what code okay copy embed code that is what we are copying so just click on it to copy the embed code okay now come to your what um your added i am um, add new card over here okay now don't use the visual okay just use the text over here okay so change it to a text and then embed this code over here okay just embed the iframe code over here okay and then when you change it to what visual you realize that what the video is what displayed over here nicely okay so that is all you are done now check in what the one that you want which is videos okay and then um, we choose an image for it so i'm going to choose any image that i want for it so let's say um i want to choose you know this image for it okay click on what it and then i choose the color so this is relationship okay so relationship i'm going to go for what um, let's say blue color okay so now that i'm done with it i can just what click on what publish to publish it okay very good so now that i've published it now i can click and what and view how the post what um you know is like so let me check how the post is like you can just you know check it and if you click on the post this is how it's going to show okay so as you can see the video shows over here nicely okay now if you click this is the back button if you click on it it's going to go back to our, our info center page for us now as you can see this is messy but don't worry about it we'll fix it okay we're going to fix it very soon okay we are going to fix it very soon so if we refresh um if you come to um let me yeah if you come to over here so we have two things over here so i'm not going to go to, so this is how you can be able to what, add your other things over here so if you check this one over here this is how a text also show or text someone also show so as you can see the color that you give what reflect over here okay so if you look at let's go back and look at it if you look at this one we give red we give blue for this one so the color that you give will what reflect um on the what on the info card okay so now that we have it now let's i'm, I'm going to go back to my um you know settings again info settings again so center settings again 
okay let's go back to our center settings again and try to fix um what we are supposed to fix over there okay guys so as you can see this is how it looks okay this is how it's supposed to look but on the front end it's not looking that way okay and that is what i don't really understand with this plugin unless you be what we um you know sometimes it takes some time or sometimes we have to what we have to um, change these settings that i don't want to touch okay these settings that i don't want to touch but basically this is how it's supposed to look on the front end so you see this one is red this one is what uh, blue okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just um, going to see if um, you know we can fix um, all these things so let me let me just see uh, this is the foot the header okay now let's go to the um, design options okay so this is a grid okay so we want it to be a small um, list or uh, small cards okay so with a small card it doesn't display what wall files because this is what um, a lot to take over here so now let's choose a different thing this is also what cards over here so this is how the cards also what uh, behave okay so you can what you can choose between whatever thing that you want you want so if you want it um, vertical or horizontal scroll it depends on how you want it so anyhow will work okay so with i think this one we made a mistake we have to remove the one from it let me look at this um, the list so even the list this is how it's supposed to work this is how it's supposed to work, behave okay but look at how it is behaving over here very messy okay which is not what we really want so le let me just you know um, go back to the cards again let me just go back to the cards again or the grid again okay so let's um, choose the grid again okay and then um, okay and then with the theme let's go for light okay let's go for light okay so that there'll be um, some white you know background um, over there okay so I think this is it's quite okay and then yeah okay so I'm going to publish it okay I'm going to publish it and then see if it's going to take effect as we've done a new one okay guys so let's publish it and see if it's going to take effect as we've done a new one so let's just you know click on publish so now that it is published okay so we can go ahead and then what refresh this page over here and then as you can see it has even already taken effect over here okay so as you can see everything is working now now <coughs> it is not a big deal sometimes it is because it is new okay that is why it happens that way now the first time i was doing it did the same thing the second time i was doing it did the same thing so um what we are going to do is we just you know if it happens that you don't see the cart okay don't worry set up your everything and follow the instructions that i did and then come over here and then change you know this ones over here change it to a different thing and then bring it back to where you want it okay and then then publish it and then go back to your what info center over here and then you know refresh it and then you can have what anything that you want now like i told you this info center is the one that is showing over here okay so let's go to our uh, church links over here okay not this one go to settings over here this one okay this one it will add up to your what your website for you to get this what this page okay now if you do not do it you are not going to get this page okay so make sure that you choose any link now if it is two words put what a hyphen between it okay because it is what a slug for the card okay so make sure that if it is two words put hyphen it so you see this one is info center so two words i put a hyphen between it don't leave a space just like that okay now if it is just one word let's say maybe church um, um you know center just a center okay make sure that you write the center over here and then it will be added to what to your website link it will be added to it so that what you'll be able to what um use it okay so basically that is it now let's click close over here 
okay now our next step is um, we are going to what we are going to add what um, a new plugin okay that you see if you look at um, let me open this one for you if you look at the our website over here, there is nothing over here which shows what on our menu which shows what info center over here but we don't want to show the info center over here okay we want to just show a login button whereby when people click on what um, login it will send them to what when and they log in it will send them to what the info center page okay so that is exactly what we want to do so we are going to add um, a plugin to so hover on plugins over here and I click on what add new okay it will take you to this place okay guys so the plugin that we're going to add is called user menu okay so just click on what i'm um, just typing user menu over here and you see this um, you know um, plugin user menus nav menu visibility okay so just click on install now that is uh, the plugin that we are going to use and just click on what activate okay and then um, we're going to skip this one okay we are going to what, skip um, this one over here so now we have what a user menu activated now to be able to configure it um, let's go to you know appearance let's over on appearance and then click on what menus over here okay very good so now you see that you have what user links over here okay you have user links over here so as you can see you can have all your user what links over here okay so we have the login we have the um the register and then what the login now as you can see the register is not what it's not um you know uh, uh, it's not linked okay because we haven't allowed people to register on our what, on our website yet so to do that we're going to go to settings over here and then under settings um click on general over here okay just click on general over here and then let's see um, how to over here membership over here we can see what anyone can what can register okay and then click on what save changes over here okay so now that we have this one done okay we can go ahead and then also do one thing we want to add what um another plugin to it so click on what plugins over here click on add new plugin over here okay And then just you know search for um, login So guys search for um login sign um or log out or sign up or uh, i think it is sign up login sign up or you know pop up um is it pop up yeah let me see yeah very good login sign up pop up okay this one okay just click on this one over here okay just click on it so you can your view you know what it does and all those things okay so um well what we want to do is we want to what, install it so login sign up what pop up okay so install this one and then activate it okay so we have the login you know sign up activated okay now start by adding login registration links to your menu okay it will add all those things to your menu and then you know you can go to what settings and shortcode so let's go to the settings and shortcode so you add these two plugins to the first plugin that we did so this is what our what um you know um settings over here so enable registration auto um log um login user on what sign up and then um you know handle reset you know all those things okay 
and then login redirect where do you want um, people to be redirect when they are logging so we want them to be redirect to this info center over here so we're going to what click over here and then um, register redirect the same thing so um, if they register after finishing register we want them to be redirect over here and then you know log out redirect we want them to what, go to the home page when they are what when they are logged out okay so we use this one to what to add it to it so um after you know everything is done now you can also um you know use the auto open pop um uh, pop up and all those things okay we're not going to use this one so we click on what save settings okay now let's go to style over here so you can you know um, side sidebar image which is the most important thing that we want to set up we want to remove um, this one and then we set up our own thing okay so we select our own thing that we want um, let's say we want to choose um, any anything that we want to choose okay so let's say we want to choose this image uh, the, the person praying okay and then we leave it as it is I'm not going to you know go into the details of the style okay so we have advanced and then we have what info and other things over here now which is what the info is what um, is needed now if you want to you know create you know any um, login um, you know form and other stuff okay you can use this short codes over here to uh, to create it okay but for now I'm not going to use the short code I'm just going to go to appearance over here and go to menus over here okay go to menus over here and then I'm going to add um, I'm going to add you know my menus to it so this is the main menu okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this one okay the login pop-up I'm going to add um, you know login okay to it here I'm going to add login and then over here I'll say um, you know login or register login or sign up okay I'll just leave it as it is okay and then I'm just going to what click on save to save the changes okay now if I come over here and I refresh this one I don't see this one over here because I'm already logged in okay I'm already logged in so I'm not going to see it but let's say I want to add another you know field over there which says what log out okay for log out to what users so I want to add this one and then I uh, what I'll click on save now if I come if I come over here and I click on this one you see I see what a logout button over here for me to what for me to log out okay and that is it but what we are going to do is I'm going to remove this logout from here okay I'm going to remove this logout from here and I'm going to save this one or even better still I'm going to also remove this sign up sign in from here I'm going to copy this one and remove this one from here and then just leave it as it is and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new menu for it okay so I'm going to create a new menu and then with a new menu I'll call it the secondary menu okay so I'm going to call this one the secondary menu or you can call it the login what menu anyhow and I'll put it under what under secondary and then I'll click on what create okay now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some what some um, you know some menus under it so I'll go to custom links over here and then over here I'm going to um, you know I'm going to copy I'm going to copy this um, link over here or this one this one this particular one over here come over here and then paste it over here okay and then I'll say info center okay I'll add it to it and then over here to um, not this one this one okay I'll click on um, login register and then log out and then this one 
um, this one over here okay and then I'll say what add to menu okay I'm gonna add all this one to the menu so login log out this one should come here okay and this one will be seen this link will be um, you know who can see this link okay so you can what set it up okay who do you want to see this link all logged out or all login users so all login users okay so anybody who is what logged in can what can see um, you know this link okay and then um, this one also the same thing I'm going to use the same thing for it okay so then I'll close this one who can also see this link okay the same thing okay so what I'm going to do is what um, just this one I'm going to give the same thing to what this one okay oh not logged out logged in yeah rather logged in users logged in users okay now basically the reason why this thing is showing two over here is because of these two plugins that we install so you can decide to delete the user links plugin okay so we will go over and delete the user links plugin and then we use and then um the register logged in also is the same thing who can what who can see um this link we're going to see what um, logged out what user okay the same thing logged out what user over here now let me go to the login and then who can see okay it's also what logged out and then logged out user okay so all the logged out is and then the um the logout who can see the logout user is definitely somebody who is logged in okay so logged in user and then also logged in user okay so now that i'm done with this one i'm going to click on what save changes okay save changes over here now okay so now um my changes are what are saved okay so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to um how do you call it um let's go to appearance over here and then go to customize okay go to customize so when you go to customize we are going to what um you know position our um our our um, how do you call it our uh, menu in the what in the top header okay we want our menu to be positioned in the what in the top header so that's exactly what you are going to do. now you have to do the same thing on the what um for the um you know mobile side also so that it's going to uh, take effect so what we're going to do is we're going to go to header over here okay and then um with the header you see this top header over here top roll over here click on it like this and then you see a secondary um you know navigation over here just click on it okay and then you see that in what it will pop up over here okay this is exactly what we wanted okay so now that this one is done so as you can see everything is what working perfectly you can what click on what publish over here now when you come to um, this side you can also refresh it and then what see it shown over here okay you can decide to what click on logout and all those things okay so basically that is how you can what you can you know um, um click on it so let's say somebody is what is logged out okay so um i'm going to I'm going to click over here and then use a different you know a different account to also what open it and then you see how it works so um let me use a different account okay let's say um yeah this account rather okay and then i'm going to what um you know click on what this one so as you can see you see what login and then what register okay so um if somebody hasn't like you know if somebody is not a login um, user the person can only what register so when you click over here there is a pop-up over here you fill in all those things and then you what you sign up for it so let's say i want to what, sign up for it so i'm going to sign up quickly and then i'll use my first name and then last name and then i'll choose you know a password 
I will accept the terms and conditions and then I will click on what sign up okay so they said the account is already registered with this email so I'm going to change um, the email address okay so let's say um, okay and then I'll go ahead and what register okay so the registration is successful and then as you can see it takes me to the what the info center okay that is exactly what we want and then we have all these things over here now of course with this one you can what you can you know um, either remove it or use the um, 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 link that you'll be able to use to what to um, you know sign up or sign in over here okay that is exactly what you want so um, basically guys that is how you can be able to add this info center to your what to any website or to your church website that we designed and then um, I think we are good to go so if you are new over here I will entreat you to like and subscribe to this channel and then if you like this video too um, I'll be glad I'll be glad that you like it and then it will just make sure you like the video so that it boosts the YouTube algorithm for a lot of people to also what also watch it okay so and um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video for those of you who are still waiting for my cryptocurrency um you know video it is coming live okay um i have to you know put in place some certain things so that the website will be what will be good there are a lot of research that i have to do for this website to, for this website to come to life so um please stay put and then do not worry too much it will come live okay thank you for watching see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel bye bye